hello and welcome to cracks so today in this video i'll show the full installation process to install custom room this is a beginner level guide and many of you may already know the process to install custom rooms so this video is for the people who are new to custom rooms and want to install custom room on their phone but don't know the basic steps so in this video i'll be illustrating all the process to install custom rooms step by step so without further ado let's start As you know that custom rooms provide better performance with no any bloat wears. Also you will get smooth experience with lots of customizations. Custom rooms also provide regular security updates and gives better battery backup. So to install custom room at first you need to enable the bootloader of your phone and also install custom recovery on your phone. I have already unlocked the bootloader of my device and also have installed custom recovery on my phone. And if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader and install custom recovery then you can watch my video to unlock bootloader as well as to install custom room from the description section. So after unlocking the bootloader and installing custom recovery then you need to download any desired custom room for your device. And remember you need to download the room that is made only for your device. You can find custom rooms for your device from XDA forums and from other websites too. I have already downloaded a custom room for my Redmi Note 8 which is Project Elixir room. So now after downloading the appropriate custom room for your device you need to reboot your phone to custom recovery section. And to reboot your phone to custom recovery section, simply reboot your device and keep pressing volume up button until your phone boots to custom recovery mode. To install custom recovery is a very important step for installing custom ROM as stock recovery will not be able to install any ROMs on your device. And also many people think that to install custom room they need to root your device at first but this is not true. You can install any custom room without rooting your device. So finally my phone is rebooted in custom recovery section. I have installed Orange Fox custom recovery but you can use any other custom recovery like TWRP, Pitch Black etc. And the interface of every custom recovery is almost identical. So in this custom recovery at first you need to tap on wipe button and then select Dalvik system, metadata, data, cache and also select vendor and don't select internal storage and micro SD card. Then swipe this slider to right then this will wipe out all those selected partition. Now after the completion of wiping process go back to file section and open the folder where the downloaded ROM file is stored. I have stored it inside the Cracksweight folder and this is the project Alexi ROM file and some of you may face encryption on your internal storage. In that case you need to store that ROM file on your micro SD card then you will be able to see the ROM file inside SD card. If you don't have SD card you can also use OTG cable to access the ROM file. So now we have to tap on that ROM zip file and swipe the slider to install the ROM. As you can see the installation process has started and this installation process will take some time. It may take about 5 to 10 minutes so I'll fast forward this installation process. Now the ROM file is installed as the installation process has completed. Again tap on that home button and again enter into wipe section. Here go to format data section and type yes to confirm it. And remember your all the internal storage will be formatted in this process so make sure you keep the backup of your memory files before proceeding to further steps. So after typing yes tap on that tick mark button then it will start its formatting process and this formatting process won't take much time. Now the formatting process is completed you will see a reboot system button simply tap on it to reboot your phone to the system then your phone will start rebooting and this rebooting process will also take some time. This may take time between 5 to 10 minutes to completely boot into the system and make sure your phone has enough battery to install custom room. Otherwise you may encounter errors and also may face boot loop. 
so as you can see it has installed this android 13 project Alexa room i'll complete this configuration process and now finally finally we are in home screen of our custom room so in this way you can install any custom rooms on your android phone this is the easiest and most common method to install custom rooms so you can also check my other videos where i have shown the alternative methods to install custom rooms so that's it for this video i hope you guys learned the proper method to install custom room so i don't think you need to watch other videos if you have watched my videos properly thank you very much for watching this video till the end and if you like my work you can support by subscribing to crack with youtube channel and if you have any queries suggestions or problems you can comment down below i'll see you in my next video bye